Ringraziamo poi Emanuele Rosi, visitatori per la sua interesse e i nostri espositori per la collaborazione eccellente. Adesso auguriamo un buon ritorno a tutti voi. Signore e signori, sono assesi con io e il Caravan Salon e la Tuna Tour 2019. Si erano le sue con molto esito. Agradezco a los numerosos visitantes por su interés y a nuestros expositores por la cooperación excelente. Ahora recibimos un buen viaje de vuelta a todos ustedes. Damos en el renal de esta actividad en tal vez el último de Caravan Salón en el Tour 2019 ser su exceso de Porto. Perante il Nazale e il Zucros, poi il Presse, il Valanzo è il Tosanto, fuori del fantastico Sandra. E venti di Alma, nu e in Rode Torre Presse. Tutti in spazio alla vista, a rilasci, e poi un po' di giacere di Nixonia, a Mons e Gustav. Right, so I left that on because I thought I like to leave on the uh, goodbye statement from, uh, in this case, Caravan Salon, Mesa Dusseldorf. And this is the end of Caravan Salon for 20, what's today? 20, yes, yes, 2019 this year. And this is the 2020 range from Etrusco. This is a vehicle I don't think I've actually seen before. And, uh, oops, sorry. And uh, so, uh, You've got the uh, what it's called and the 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 price which I've now forgotten and the other details. Fifty six wasn't it? I can't remember. Uh, so anyway, I'm not so keen on over cab models, but nonetheless, you say say the film it. I don't really know why I'm not so keen on them. I think maybe I don't like the fuel consumption. Maybe I don't like the size. I don't know what it is. But I'm not so keen on them. A bit funny really because there's so much space in them which is a normal sort of thing I'm, I'm, I am looking for in a van. Now, the question is this one. When you've got that bit over the cab, why doesn't the van come back, the roof come back in a straight line? Well, I've got a couple of ideas of you. For some reason, I have been told, I'm just repeating what I was told here, but that uh, this type of um, roof is actually cheaper to do than the flat roof. Um, can't understand that, no idea why. Maybe the person who told me doesn't really know himself, but he did work for the motorhome. In fact, he worked in the factory. That's, so, uh, and he was under management, so that's what he told me. That's the um, that's the boiler. There's a number of vans actually put there in this position. I don't think I'm going to open that. That that goes into the garage. Oh, that's number one reason. I'll give you number two reason now. See how high this one here is up. Right, so you... now this is uh, I'm at uh, um, uh, average height for a man. Uh, yeah, oh, it's a bit difficult for me to reach in. Now that's normal. Okay, I'll turn over the other side. Show you this, right? So I can, I can possibly just, I can reach in, I can reach in here. But imagine if I had to reach up there, right? I couldn't do it, could I? Really, unless I stood on the chair. And that is one of the other reasons why the these fans are not flat as they come back. You need that bulge in the roof to put the bed up there, and that's it. Now most fans do have the the, the rear-facing bench. I'd rather have at the front. Uh, swivel chairs because I think that saves 80 centimeters on the length. There are some vans that do that. This isn't one of them, as you can see. Uh, Etrusco is a German brand, uh, but it is uh, manufactured in San Casciano, Tuscany. Okay, let's get this. 725 long, 232 wide, and 314 at its highest point. 
fantastic, absolutely fantastic door on that. And uh, that was the door which was blocked by the ladder in there. This side here, it's not so big, but hey, it's still pretty large. You might have difficulty getting the bike up that end. So, unless, no, maybe you put it at an angle, it'll come out. Right, so that is the A7300 DB from Etrusco. Got a few more Etrusco vans here, maybe you want to see them. You don't? You do, sorry, okay. Just have a admir admire of the, the roof. So you've got four skylights up there. Important to have a skylight in the cab over part because it does get stuck. Well, you've got plenty of room there. Maybe it won't get so stuck in this really is a lot of room up there, as you can see. Okay, we'll have a look at a couple more. Just a couple. Integrated 7400 SB. SB. Single beds, also EB and other companies. 741 long, 200, 232 wide, 293 is highest point. And standing height 213, it's got 570 kilos of payload. Let's go at the back. So I'm calling this the German layout now. Well, oh, I didn't give you the price, and I don't know what the price is. We'll have to have a look on that on the way out. And this is at the cheaper end of the Erwin Hummer group. I'm not quite too certain, I don't, I don't know why in fact, well, I'm not too certain. I don't know why they actually made this brand because it sort of competes with Corrado and Sunlight which are also owned by the same company and which are also uh, formed by the same company. It wasn't a case of that they got them through acquisitions. Here's another semi-integrated one. Sorry, integrated one. This is the Integrated 6900 SB under seven meters. I quite like the shape of this one. Seven meters long, 293 high, 213 standing height, 650. Um, payload, 54, sorry, 53,600 euros. And this other one, I'll give you that, I forgot, I'll give the price, 56,000. So I mean, it's not much in the price difference. This one's smaller though. Of course, I mean, it's not, the, it's not the length of the vehicle which dictates the price. It's the equipment inside, the insulation, the technical bits you don't see. That's the thing which dictates a price of a motorhome. Yeah, I'm feeling quite tired actually because I've been this trade fair that I've been getting up really early uh, to do them, to put videos together, putting three videos up a day during the, the fair, although some of them, uh, well, one a day was sort of a news report and two have been sort of overall things, but I was trying to get enough material to sort of see me through until the next event, as well as to get stuff which is relative to news on the sector. So. And I've been doing a lot of walking around and I banged my leg. So all of, all of those things happened. Right, so you can see people are now clearing off. Oh. Let's have a look at that. We'll have a look at another. I don't know why I actually chose to start looking at the integrated ones because integrated are totally different from cab over. There you are, QB integrated seven meters. And this thing here, which I'd much rather have a QB than a SB, this is 54, no sorry, 53,599, 600, so. so it's got a queen bed at the back, got a bed up there, it's got a nice amount of standing height, that's really good, there's the bed at the back. Oops. Right, okay, so I wanted to really show you a bit more. Some more vans as I'm trying to do now with my videos. I try. I like to try and show similar things if I can, though, to so, so you can compare. In this case, I didn't. I didn't show like to like. 
I see there's some of the staff still here, unlike on other, on other stands. One stand I went to and completely cleared off, although the, uh, there was nothing left there. Although um, they, they weren't selling vans, they were selling parts for vans. Uh, I know in the UK, for example, the Birmingham, yeah, yeah, you're not NEC, you're not allowed to actually take anything up the stand until after closing time. Okay, good. Right, so that's the Etrusco uh, overcab version. This is me in Dusseldorf, very tired, signing out.